One of my wife's miniature house projects is a Harry Potter Hogwarts style castle and she asked me if I could build an arch for around the front door. This was a great challenge for the X-Carve. And here's the result. Let me show you how I did it. The first step was to get that opening into easel. So we scanned that shape in and imported it as a .svg file. And then once I had that, I could size it the way I wanted it so it was slightly larger than the door. Then I just took that same design and I copied it two more times and then enlarge those so I had my three steps. So now all I had to do was set the different depths. So the, the outer one I set at a 0.5 depth, the next layer down a 1.5 millimeter depth and I did all these as a fill so it's going to cut across the whole thing. And then the final one was 2.5 millimeters. So I had my three different layers, now I just had to set up the material. So I chose the three millimeter thickness, which is what my material was, it's just a hobby plywood, and I cut it a 0.5 millimeters per, per layer, you know, per slice. And then I was ready to send it to my X-Carve. So I stepped through all the, the steps, telling it that it was secure, I had the right bit size, and I homed my bit, and I just clicked raise the bit, turn on the spindle, spindle was on, and I clicked carve, and it started cutting away. Now I cut this on a scrap piece of wood that I've tested before and I ran this a real high speed video here so it took a lot longer than what I'm showing you but you can see that it's cutting each layer and then when it's done I'll end up with three layers. The outer layer, the inner layer and then the whole center layer. So then I went back to the design and I added two more layers only these I just made lines and then deleted all the other layers that I did before. And these are going to be the inner edge and the outer edge. So I made these three millimeters deep to cut all the way through the wood. Now the uh, outer layer here, I set it so the bit would cut on the outside of this line. And I also wanted to cut all the way through without tabs. Just cut all the way through, so I shut the tabs off. And then I went to the inner line and set that to cut on the inside of it. And then I clicked on the carve button and sent it to the X-carve. So then it started cutting the inner edge and it went down at 0.5 millimeters per cut until it was all the way through the wood and then it moved to the outer edge and cut the outer edge at the same rate until it was all the way through the wood and then it was ready to remove from the platform. Now after it cut the inner piece removed pretty easily but I could see that the upper part of this uh, board was not perfectly level. So I had to come back and cut it with the X-Acto knife. Now I could have cut this a little deeper, told it it was a four millimeter piece of wood and cut 3.5 millimeters. And I have a piece of wood underneath to protect my bed. But this was okay, this was the first prototype and uh, I was just gonna sand off that extra, extra little bit anyway. From 100 grit sandpaper, I was able to just sand those things right off. They, they came off easily because it was paper thin. And then I went back to my workbench and I got some 220 sandpaper and I sanded the inner edges just to see how smooth I could make this thing. Because, you know, the, the bit was cutting away at this wood and it left it a little bit rough. Now she wanted some of that look to it, but I wanted to see how smooth I could get and, and how easy this would, would be to clean up. And it wasn't too bad. The sandpaper just cleaned up a lot of those edges and it came out pretty smooth. And this was the final piece. Now this was a first prototype and when I was done she told me she wanted it wider looking than this and it had a hole in it and some uh, stuff on the back. Now the back didn't really matter but the hole did. She would have had to patch that but I know she wanted it wider so I went back and did all those steps again only this time made it wider and this time I used a good piece of wood. So here it is in actual speed where it's cutting the outer edge and then it'll jump here and cut the inner edge. So this was looking really, really good. And very little sanding because this one cut all the way through. Here's the finished design just laid against the wall. And then she went to work finishing the whole front of this thing. And it turned out great. So that's CNC Sunday for this week. If you like this project, give it a thumbs up. If you like this type of project, or this type of video, please subscribe. That way I know you like it and you want to see more. 
And if you want to help support to replace broken bits or buy some extra wood, a dollar a month to my Patreon account really helps. You can click on the link up here. So that's all I've got. I'll be back in two weeks with another CNC Sunday. And I'll be back next Friday with Filament Friday. I'll see you next time.